Hey, Chris. Hey, Dory. So, today we're looking at machines under $300. Perfect. For people who are going to school or just want something for the weekend, these are great options. Kind of maybe even just getting started. Yeah, First absolutely. Machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to be the customer and I'll be the salesperson? I, I will try to be the best customer ever. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, first thing I usually ask is, you know, what kind of budget you're looking at. Um, this is actually a really good price range for a lot of people if they're trying to stay you know, kind of reasonable. They say under 300 yeah. is reasonable. So I guess my answer then is I'd like to stand at $300. Oh, excellent. Okay, so <laughs> we have quite a few options here. Yeah. Um, we start with kind of like the Poemia here. You get a few um, plasticky components to it. So generally I'll try and step up to even like the Aroma um, is a really good one just because it has a lot more metal to it. It's a little bit more bulletproof. These models have been around for ages. They used to be like the Starbucks Barista, so everyone knows the name and loves these machines. Um, this guy here, also kind of in the same category, but you get a nice um, big drip tray. You know, you have your pressurized portafilter, so you don't have to worry about getting a really fancy grinder with it and tamping, timing your shots, all that. You don't have to worry about any of that. With these, you kind of look for more of the flavor and the taste. There's just some options there. All right. um, getting into the aroma, you're looking at um, pressurized portafilter, but you also have some upgrades available. You can get the non-pressurized portafilter, so if you do ever want to get your fancy grinder, tamp, timer shots, you totally can. So you can kind of graduate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Same with the Panarello here. Um, it comes with a plastic Panarello, which is great if you don't want to have to worry about fussy foam or anything like that. You can just kind of... Um, you know, bring the milk up to about here and it'll do all the foaming for you. And then there's also a stainless steel Panarello that you can get that'll kind of give you more microfoam so you can fine tune that a bit. Okay, and just all the way across the board though, these machines that we're looking at will do not just espresso, but also allow you to froth milk. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yep. Then we get up into the Capresso here, and um, this is the EC Pro, and kind of blows all these other guys out of the water a little bit. Um, if you're wanting to step up your game a bit more into tamping, timing your shots, having more of a traditional steam wand, it comes with it all. So it's really great features for the price. You don't see this anywhere else that it comes with these options. Um, you also have these nice rocker switches, which are usually pretty sturdy and last a long time. I'd say only kind of downside is that it hasn't been on the market for as long like the Aroma and Via Venezia. So I kind of like the, the proven build quality, but this is actually a lot of metal here and just a pretty sturdy machine as well. But it's from a company that's got some legs behind it, so. Exactly. There's that. Mm -hmm. um, and should we talk about like what the difference is between a steam wand and a Panarello? I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> so on here, the Panarello, you can kind of see there's um, several slots at the top and those actually bring in the air. And since they are fairly large slots, you're going to get kind of bigger bubbles. You don't have as much control over the foam. Um, with the traditional steam wand, this, the steam is actually only coming out of the very end. So there's no air being incorporated until you bring the milk to the very tip and allow that air to come in yourself. Okay. So this is really, I mean, if we're talking about graduating from a pressurized portafilter to a non-pressurized portafilter, mm -hmm. this would be kind of like frothing 101 and this would be frothing 500 level. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, this one also comes with the pressurized and non-pressurized baskets. So if you wanted to um, have the easy mode, you have the pressurized. If you want to have the hard mode, tamp, time your shots, you know, get picky about your grind, then you also have that available as well. Okay. And are all of these uh, just on off brew cycles? None of them are programmable or volumetric? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think... Yeah, all of these guys are just the on-off um, until you get up into the corrupts. See the way I led you there? <laughs> so this guy actually has programmable buttons. You also have um, a thermal block for your steam, so it's a little bit quicker between the steaming and brewing. Also with the rest of these, you do want to make sure that you're running, running water through the steam wand after you're done steaming. Otherwise, you could potentially burn up the boiler. It's not very good. So with the thermal block, it avoids that issue. It also has an auto tamp, which um, is just when you turn the portafilter here, it'll click into place. And there's little icons down here that'll show either the two cup or the one cup. So you just turn it for whatever cup you have to that position. Um, I mean, pretty decent steam wand movement here. 
generally with the, the other guys, they just move one direction. So if you're doing a lot of steaming, you might want to, um, you know, go to one of these that has a little bit more movement there. But otherwise... What's this? <laughs> So oh, I'm like yes. a good customer. The Cappuccino Torre. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy, um, you can replace this piece here with the Cappuccino Torre and it'll siphon in the milk for you and froth it. And you have a couple um, options here for either Cappuccino or you can do your latte. So more or less foam basically. So it's kind of like an automatic frother then, mm -hmm. which is a big upgrade over the other ones. Yes, it is. And so quite a few options on that guy. But these are all great if you're trying to stay under that that price point. Um, I think the the one that I personally lean towards is the aroma because you can get parts for it. Um, it's you know has that proven build quality, but I think this is a good competitor too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Am I supposed to buy one? I think so. Which one would you buy? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm going to need to, uh, you know, watch some more videos and, uh, you know, see what the customers have to say on our, our website. <laughs> That's a good idea. All right. And you can check out our videos at seattlecoffeegear.com. <laughs>